right, now we're able to show GIFs and get them from the Giphy API. Let's take a little bit of a detour and we're gonna do a little styling here. Now, if you hover over something, we're gonna see that the user is in the bottom left. We're gonna do the same exact thing for our GIFs. And this is just to start building out a little bit more of a complicated application so we can see how view scales a little bit. And to get us started, we're gonna go back to our code. Let's first of all, let's make this a grid. So we're gonna say, we're gonna use Bulma classes here, div class columns, and is multi-line, so it can break uh, v if gifs is here. Oh, we already have that line up here. Let's remove that here. And then inside of this v if, we're gonna say div class column is one quarter. And this is where we're gonna do the v4 loop. So each gif is gonna loop, and here is gonna be a column, and inside of that, we'll have our image. And we can get rid of that and get rid of that. And by the way, this is the code that was ending of the number 10 section. So now we're in the index.html. Well, I'm in index.final. You can be in index.html, which is just the copy of index final. So we're in folder number 11 currently. All right, so if we save that, go back to our application and we scroll. No, we're not really seeing our columns take place. Oh, we're in the wrong folder. We want slash index final. There we go. Now we have our columns and they're all showing in a little grid. Let's switch back over. Now we can start working on the actual GIF itself. So inside of this, this is where we loop. And you start to get a little divitis here, but let's uh, create something new called a GIF box. And that's gonna house our entire GIF. So inside of that, we're gonna have an A, href, and this is gonna be the GIF URL because we want our image to be linkable. Image class, GIF image. Source is like it was before, gif.images.original.url. Let's remove that now. And also on top of the GIF box, we want to have a GIF user. And let's make it linkable. So we have a class GIF user. And inside of that, we're gonna have an image and the source is going to be the gif.user.avatar, sorry, user.avatar underscore URL. And this is just from browsing the Giphy API and looking through what the console log gave us so we could find the correct URL. And this is also gonna be href is equal to gif.user.profile underscore URL. Let's set a height is 40 and a width is 40 on this. And something went wrong, let's take a look. Profile URL is not existent, let's see. That's probably because some of these didn't return an actual gif.user. So we're only gonna use this if be if gif.user. And let's go multiple lines for this one. All right, there we go. So let's see, this first one has BR bleacher report. Uh, we also want the display name since we don't really know what these are. So let's double bind here, gif.user display underscore name. There we go, that's looking better. Very nice. Yeah, so here's one that doesn't have a username and that's probably why that was throwing the error. So it's always good to do these V ifs just to make sure that we only show things if they exist. All right, I think that's good enough for our GIF user profile. So let's go ahead and style this next. Let's see, we want this to overlay on top of the image. So let's go here, we'll play, create some styles. We're gonna say GIF box is position relative. And then we're gonna say GIF image. Now we don't need to style the GIF image, we need to style GIF user. So GIF user, let's make sure it's centered vertically and 
Centering vertically has always been a challenging thing in CSS until Flexbox came around. So we'll say display flex, align items, center. There we go. Now we have that. We have GIF user image. Let's get a margin right of about eight pixels on that. So we get some spacing between these two. Nice. And finally, let's position absolute left, uh, let's say 15 pixels and bottom 15 pixels. There we go. And now it overlays on top of that. And that hover is a little weird on the color, but let's just leave it at that for now. All right, so that gives us some good styling for our GIFs. That one's a little weird, but that's all right. You know what we could do also to make this a little bit easier on the eyes, let's say GIF box background is, let's say, 333 for a dark black. All right, so that was step one at getting a little bit more of a robust application. We actually have uh, links, so we could click this. Let's say, let's click the SpongeBob SquarePants one and it goes to the actual GIF URL. And let's go back, and then if we click SpongeBob SquarePants, we'll probably see that user profile, yep, slash SpongeBob. All right, that's looking good. So we have our styled GIF box component, and here we have our grid, which is right here, columns, and then we loop over, and column is what gets it side by side. Very, very good.